Hi, this is Nikki and I happy Valentine's Day and I am taking a request for letters to be read out from the Divine Love Letters books that I do that are all channeled letters from your twin souls. And so these books are available on Amazon, in paperback and also Kindle version and they are the best way to get messages from your twins. And so, and to keep you in that love vibration. So letter 131 is that you are like a bell ringing in my head i know that may sound weird but it's in a good way it's like every now and then i hear you it's like a reminder to me that you're always there it's comforting and at the same time a nudge from my soul to push me in the direction that i need to be to come home i want you to know that i'm trying i'm trying really hard to overcome my fear I overcome the feeling of terror. That may sound dramatic and I don't mean it to. It's just that I'm terrified of losing you. Which is ridiculous because to lose you, I'd have to be with you. I realise it's irrational, but I just love you so much. I can't imagine life without you in it. I adore you with all of me and everything that I am. Oh. You know what, that's a really common theme as well, that that's thing of, I can't imagine losing you, so I'm terrified of letting you get close, because what happens if I really experience it and then then something happens? Um, so lesson 131 in book two is this, that there's nothing I wouldn't do or give to be with you right now. It's so complicated and difficult at the moment. There's just so much going on. And I can't see a way out at the moment. I know that I want to. And I know that I will. But it's going to take a bit of time. I need to sort things out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I can't explain myself for you. I'm sorry that I'm taking so long. You have to know that I want us to be together. Now. Forever. And every day in between. There's nothing I want more than you. And me. Together. Forever. Believe me when I say I'm working on it. Believe me when I say it will happen. I love you. Okay, and from book three is this. Not a day or minute goes by that I don't replay things over and over and over in my head. Wishing that I'd done everything different right from the start. I so wish that I'd just been myself and not been afraid not being shy to tell my true and innermost feelings. That really I was crazy mad about you. That I wanted to shout it from the rooftops. That I wanted to be with you from day one. I'm sorry that I didn't have the courage to do it. But I will. I know that I will. I know that we have to be together. You are my love, my life, my soul and my passion. Okay. Oh, I mean, does make me quite emotional. Okay, number, somebody asked for 137. So, 137, don't get lost and don't get lost in your mind telling you that you are alone. You are not. I am here. I am right here in your heart. Place your hand on your heart. Close your eyes and call to me. Say, please come to me and hold my hand to bring me to my light to bring us to our love. Do this and do it every day and you will know that I'm with you. I don't want you to feel sad or lonely. Our souls are leading us home. We must listen to our souls and the call of our hearts. It is our truth. Believe in love. Okay, so number 137 from book two is this. Um, which is, you're my light of my life, the love of my life, the joy in my heart. I wish that I could tell you all of this in person. I always seem to be waiting for the right time, the perfect moment, the perfect setting. But every time I lose my nerve, I get riddled with insecurities and I feel so nervous when I'm around you. I can't say how I really feel and then I kick myself afterwards. I know that I need to. I know that I will. 
It's just that I need to close the door on the schoolboy fears that haunt me and hold me back. I know that I need to open the door to my heart fully and give my heart only to you. You are the only person I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are my dream, my fantasy, my passion, my greatest challenge and my greatest love. Well, how gorgeous. Um, and letter 137 from book three is this, which is... Oh, hang on, I've just done this. So it's from book one. 137 from book one is this. I am in your heart. You are my soul. You are my guiding light, my passport home. It's been a difficult time and I'm sorry that it's taken me a long time to be able to be present for you. I want you to know that all of this time I've been loving you from afar and feeling you in the deepest parts of me, feeling the call of your love. It's taken me by surprise at how strongly the feeling creeps up on me. Every now and then and I'll feel it, it's like bam, a smack in my chest. My heart starts pulsating quick and I see an image of you and I'm left thinking, wow, what was that? A shock to the heart of love, like a bullet it hits me, but it's lodged in my heart forever. You, you are in my heart forever. Okay, so now somebody asked for letter one, one, one. Uh, you are so ridiculously beautiful that it makes my head spin. My heart beat faster and every cell in my body tingle. I don't think you really know what you do to me. Having you near me is like having a fire burning inside of me, waking up all of my senses. What an incredible experience and what an out of this world feeling. How extraordinary this is. This love that we have between us is extreme. It's beautiful is a wonder of my heart. I never knew that I could actually feel the pounding of my heart so hard. It's actually gonna come out of my chest. I love you. I yearn for you. I yearn for our time to come so that we can be together forever. Okay, so that's letter 111 in book one. Letter 111 in book two is this. And it is, I have loved you from day dot. There is nothing that would keep us apart this time around. This time is our time. Trust, trust, trust in me. Trust in our mission together. We have found our beautiful love vibration that is unique to us. No one else has this song. Our song is divine, it's exquisite. It's beyond your mind to comprehend that what our soul song does to the universe when we come together in our sacred sexual union. Believe me, we are here for a reason. We are all here for a reason, for our soul songs to sing really loudly when we all experience true sacred sexual enlightenment. We will transform and uplift the planet with our love. Oh. That's such, I mean, I love that. Number 111, and it's like, during our sec sacred sexual union, that's how we're going to uplift the planet. Amazing. Um, and now, letter 111 from book three is, You are my freedom. You hold the keys to set my soul free, to get me out of my cage, to open my heart, finally. I am so fed up with only half living. To step out of my comfort zone is scary. It's really difficult breaking through the walls of fear and doubt and the dreaded what ifs. But I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to live a half life in the shadow of who I truly am. I want to become me. I want to feel free. And I know that you are the only one. You are the only person that I feel at home with. That I feel free with. You are my heart oh okay so I've got time to do one more and it's letter 19 my love I'm sorry that we have to go through this phase in our journey but 
it's necessary for us to find our path back to each other, to understand our truth, to find who we are in the light of each other's love. We only know this by separating and seeing that in another's light, we are in our shadow. It is only our love, our light that allows us to fully shine. We are discovering our light. Our love is incredibly powerful and will bring us home once again. We will end in each other's love to find our light. So that just shows everything, you know, that's basically saying everything that's happening at the moment is happening for us to find the power of our love. So letter 19 in book two is, you're the light of my life, the pink in the sunset over a beautiful calm sea, the sun coming up on a summer's day. You are the reason I am here, the reason I am alive. The reason why we are both alive is to find each other and to love each other with every inch of our souls, every fibre of our being, everything about us has been made to love each other. It's in our DNA, it's our blueprint, it's literally written into every cell of our body that we are made and we are each other's perfect match. There isn't anyone on the earth that can do what you do to me or what I do to you. There is only us that can fulfill our soul's desire. Oh, God, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, now letter 19 from book one is this. I want to say that this life that we're going to create together is going to be so beautiful and so full of love and romance and passion. A passion for life and a passion to have the best life we can with each other. Taking care of each other and being there for one another. Being each other's best friend, their home, their comfort and their challenge. I want that for us beyond anything else in the whole world. I want all my boyhood, boyhood dreams to come true of running off with the love of my life living the dream and never, ever, ever looking back, believing that the two of us can do anything we set out our minds and our hearts to. I want us full stop. That's what I want more than anything. Us, us, us. To come together in a beautiful, passionate glow and flame of love. Oh! Oh, so cool. So, more than anything, want to come together in a beautiful, passionate flame of love. Well, there you go. More amazing, amazing, amazing letters. And that's numbers uh, 137, 131, 111 and 19 from the books. Okay, I'm going to do one more video and then that will be it. Okay, but thank you so much to everyone that's asking for the letters and happy Valentine's Day. All right, take care. Bye.